So this is problem 3.2 out of Taylor's Mechanics. It is a shell traveling with speed v naught explodes into two equal mass fragments. And the goal is to find the velocity of one of the fragments if we know one of them traveled vertically up with a speed v naught. So for this, we're going to use conservation momentum, which is the initial velocity is equal to the final velocity. So for the x direction, we know that mv naught, the initial velocity, is equal to one half mvx. Since the mass is broke up into two equal pieces, the final momentum will have half the mass of the original block, which tells us vx is going to be equal to two times v naught. And so this is for the x direction. For the y, well, if one of the pieces is moving up in a direction v naught, the other has to move in a direct in a direction with velocity minus v naught. That's to keep momentum conserved. Okay, so whatever one half m v y has to equal one half m v naught minus one half because they're going in opposite directions. If the other object did not go at a minus v naught, so if vy wasn't minus v naught, then we wouldn't have conservation of momentum. As for whatever reason, one of the pieces just flew up vertically. Okay. So it wants to know the velocity of the other fragment. So to do that, the velocity is going to be the square root of vx squared plus vy squared which will be 2v0 squared plus minus v0 squared square root. So that's 4v0 squared plus v0 squared square root. And this is, of course, equal to v0 times the square root of 5. Okay. So that's how you find the velocity here, just conservation of momentum. If you like these videos with solutions, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll post more.